Now next tonight, there's a controversy on a campus at Medai College in Buffalo. 7 News, the first to report this this morning, frustration over a recent incident involving campus security officers who entered dorm rooms unannounced. Today, students staged a protest and issued demands. 7 News reporter Eileen Buckley is on the story. We, the students, exclaim, their time has run out. Yeah. Madai students say their rights were violated when last month, campus security guards entered some dorm rooms without warning. Girls were walked in on while they were naked. Uh, there were people who had items taken that were allowed to have those items. There were people who were pushed. It happened two times on the weekend last month in this building. Your rights were violated. There's no question about that. Amy Decay addressed students at the protest. She serves as vice president for student development. Decay says public safety and a residence advisor responded to a noise complaint on February 12th. That was when the public safety officer swiped into three rooms unannounced. She says it happened again the next night when four officers entered up to 11 rooms. All officers involved in this situation have been removed from our campus. <laughs> Medai contracts with Vista Security Group. The same company serves a number of other local colleges. College president Dr. Kenneth Maker says the officers broke the policy. The guidelines are clear. You're not supposed to enter a room without knocking. You're not supposed to enter a room without cause. And you should have a, a member of the uh, residence life staff present as well. I reached out to Vista for a response, but says it is not issuing a statement at this time and all inquiries need to be directed to the college. Did they tell you why they were searching those rooms or what they were looking for? I mean, who reports what to who? Uh, no, so I was, I'm not part of the process of who they were reporting to, uh, so I don't know what uh, argument they made in terms of why they were uh, uh, searching rooms. I do know that it, over the course of the day, they removed a number of bottles of alcohol, uh, which is not illegal because some students are of age. 270 students live on campus in two residence halls, and they each pay $7,000 a semester to live on campus. Maker met with students three times to meet all their requests, but now refused to meet with him and instead staged this protest. And as part of this protest, students are demanding that the president resign. Maker tried to address their concerns, but students didn't give him much of a chance. He eventually walked away, but stayed at the protest. Students say they're frustrated it took more than five weeks for the college to respond to what happened. And only two officers were initially reprimanded and remained on campus. Those officers were later removed, but other officers from Vista remain on campus and on the job. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.